Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? I am your host, the connoisseur of nothing, expert of none, opinionated on most. And today, we got a new addition to the family. Um, I got off work today. Um, I work every other Saturday. It is a Saturday. And um, I had seen FedEx had dropped off my gift to myself. You know, you got to gift yourself gifts, you know. Um, but I had made an order on Classic Firearms for this, and I think I made the order on Wednesday. And it arrived today. I made it on Wednesday, I it came pretty fast. Went ahead, got changed, picked this up with the FFL. I don't know how to end up going. And uh, just picked up the car real quick, shot to the range, bang. And um, I had brought my. Um, my pistol brace, my SBT 1913 pistol brace that was previously on my M92. I had brought that and I slapped that on it. I tried shooting it without it and it just felt goofy and quonky. So I went ahead and slapped it on. And um, I like to do the brand spanking new Zastava M85 Pistola. Uh, just picked this up today. Still got the factory grease, um, and it's good to go. It's been giving me no issues today. Um, this one did come with the Zostava polymer mag, um, which I, whenever I made the order for it, it had a picture of it with a steel mag. So I've already contacted um, Classic Firearms to let them know, hey, you guys sent me a plastic mag. What's going on? Um, so I'll keep you guys updated as to, as to how that goes. And what my experience is with that um so it came like this without this i had the pick rail but no brace so boom still got the the factory booster on here still got the pistol grip uh, still got the trigger everything is bone stock um i also brought out my m92 to compare the two plus this is my favorite gun as you all know so what is my what are my first thoughts on this okay so naturally you're going to compare the two They're, they look exactly the same you know aside from the modifications I put on it they look exactly the same I will say I will say I'm, I haven't butted them up against each other but it, the the I'm sorry if I took the camera off but the um, M85 feels like it's a tad longer than this I don't think it actually is but it at least feels that way. And whenever you look at this distance here, it's very different. You, you see the distance between the um, the handguard retainer here and here versus here and here, much shorter right here. So um, that's one of the things I noticed. Another thing I noticed, uh, the finish on here is not nearly as good as the finish on here. The finish on here is, is very smooth, pretty smooth. This one is pretty rough. What is not that great. Um, the rest of the gun is perfectly fine. No issues with any other finish. Uh, but just up here on the gas block, um, I did have those issues here. Um, another minor issue I had was um, the sights came a little bit low. Um, whenever I was aiming down range and I was hitting down range, everything was a little bit low. So that's another thing I noticed. Uh, that's not a big deal, but I did not bring my AK sight tool to go ahead and adjust um, the AK sight here. So next time I come out, I'll bring that. Uh, maybe I'll have an optic to slap on it and I'll zero both of those at the same time. Maybe so, maybe not. But um, next time I come out, I'll definitely go ahead and get that fixed. And um, if you guys don't know how to use the AK sight tool, because there was once a time where I did not, uh, let me know. Comment down below. I'll do a video of how to use it, how to operate it. It's very simple, but uh, for some people, it may be confusing. That be um, if I can bestow some information that's going to help you today, I'm more than happy to do so. Um, aside aside from that, you know everything is um everything about these two is pretty much the same. Um, you know the this um this action is a bit smoother, but this also has many rounds through it, over a thousand rounds through it already. Uh, this one is brand new, so it will smooth out over time as everything sets in. Um, so, haven't taken it apart yet. Like I said, I just came out here, started shooting. Um, I've put about 100 rounds through it by now, and um, I haven't had any issues with it at all. Only issues I've had were with the polymer mags, which is why 
I am upset that they did not give me the steel mags because I had already seen um, there were some issues with the steel, I mean, with the polymer mags from Zastava. So I was having some minor issues with them, not some of the bad issues that I've seen, but you know, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. Um, if you guys know of any mags that will work with the M85, let me know because I need to get some because this is all I got right now. You know, I got a whole bunch of mags for my, my um, M92 and my M70s. Nothing for this yet, but this one. So I've seen um, some of the barrel mags and, um, you know, a couple other ones. If you guys have any experience with some nice mags that work with this, some affordable ones, some cool looking ones, uh, maybe even some hard ones to find, just let me know. Um, I'll be happy happy to hear you out and see what I can get so that um you know we can look good while we're shooting that's a big part of why we spend all this money on this you know this hobby yes we want to protect ourselves protect our family protect our property um but these things are fun to shoot as well as just a recreation and you want to look cool you know that's why we deck them out the way we do you know there's some stuff that's very functional that looks very dorky and um you know that's not always the way you want to go but uh, shooting the M85, back to this, it's a very softer experience, it's, it's, it's night and day shooting this first shooting this, going back and forth, shooting the M92 is almost jolting, Expe well not um, it is jolting, especially with this night break on here, I've told you guys about it on the last video, that night break is not designed for the night, it shoots out a fireball big as a, big as a watermelon, and it's very loud, and it shoots um, unburnt gunpowder everywhere. This one, completely different story. It's very soft. Very, very soft shooter. With the booster, you don't get any of that spent gunpowder. And the fireball has not been bad. It is getting darker, so I'll, um, I got a few more rounds. I'll try putting through, see if the fireball is bigger now that it's getting darker. But shooting it earlier, um, I mean, there was a small fireball, but nothing, nothing crazy. You know, and I may just be, you know, just so blinded by the immense fireball this one spews out. I may not even be seeing it just because of that. Um, but the very soft shooting, the trigger is is just as good in the M92, if not maybe a little bit better. But again, it's it's a new gun, hasn't smoothed out. You know, shooting the neither one of them really have a wall, but if I were to say one of them has more of a wall than the other it be this one and again i'm just thinking that's just because it's a brand new gun um the pistol grip um i don't think you guys ever seen me have this pistol grip on the m92 because when i bought this i had already heard these pistol grips are very slick and they're not what i want so i still have that tango or that u.s palm grip and Bakelite Orange. I'm probably going to go ahead and slap that on here. I got some more furniture coming, and I'll probably put that furniture on here. But um, I am open to su suggestions, you know. So if you guys know of any cool, you know, Yugo uh, M85, M92 pattern furniture for um, for these guns here, let me know. And um, I'll take a look, and maybe you may sway my opinion in, um, in one direction, because I do have a idea of how I want to deck this out. But um, it's it's never good to be set in your ways, you know. You can always learn something from somebody. Else. Let me flip you back over here. So, <sighs> all in all, uh, to to condense my shooting experience today, this is a great gun to have. It's a very fun gun. Um, it's a lot lighter than the M92. You know, I love the M92. It's my favorite gun. But it is a lot lighter, so um, especially if you have people who are weaker, you know, it'll be easier for them to shoot it. It feels like it's a little bit longer, but that also, it also feels more balanced. You would think that because the front end feels longer, and I'm pretty sure it is. I measure when I get home. You would think that it would make the AK more front heavy than what it actually, what it already is. But um, that's not my experience with it. Um, so it's a little strange, but um. I'm going to switch out the grip. I like the trigger. The recoil is like marshmallows. Um, and I'm going to have to get a lot more 223 and 556 five, because I'm going to be shooting this gun a lot. Because I like it just about as much as I like the M92. I'm torn. You know, I'm torn between the two. I love them both. I really do. Already. Just got this thing and it's already one of my favorite guns. 
So um, I'll keep you guys updated as what experience I have. I'll let you know um, what my experience is with that mag issue that I'm having with classic firearms and, and if they uh, remediate the issue, you know, in a good, in a good manner. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up what I got here, clean up, head home, eat some good food. You know, I hope um, everybody's having a good day, good week, good year, you know. Uh, to always remember, appreciate life, you know. That's why that's why I'm, I'm I'm into these things, you know, other than protecting my life and protecting my liberty. Um, I have fun doing this stuff, you know, and um, life's about having fun. You know, there's there's enough hard work that we got to do in order to make a way here in America. So whenever you got the opportunity to have fun, to smile, crack a joke, talk some shit, you know, have a drink with some friends or play a game. Go ahead and do it. You know, go out your way to have some fun every once in a while. You know, that's that's important. It's important to treat yourself right. So uh, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for listening. Uh, please remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And we are out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.